And technology is an amazing vehicle and tool for educational leaders, teachers, and students. So as a principal, we must be leaders of change and leaders of learning. We must practice what we preach. Therefore, I must lead by expanding my own professional learning network and modeling the use of technology. As a result, I must use Twitter, blogs, Facebooks to communicate with various stakeholders. I must meet my consumers where they are. Additionally, I must empower staff to take risks in their own learning and teaching and help them infuse technology into their classroom. This can be done by providing professional learning, feedback, and models for them to use. Once again, though, I must meet my teachers where they are and help push them forward. Finally, I must be very transparent with my own use, my implementation, and my own learning. Technology is changing faster than we as a system can keep up with. Therefore, I must be willing to take risks and try new things with my, with my use of technology and leadership. But one thing we must always remember is that good teaching is good teaching, and technology is only a vehicle for good teaching. One-to-one -one is an essential variable in today's educational system. It is not a fad. Computers will not go away. Technology will not go away. Therefore, we must embrace it and learn from it. However, technology and computers are just the vehicle for great teaching. Putting computers in student hands to word process or to do glorified worksheets is not enough for effective implementation. We must demand that our students are using these devices to be creative and innovative with their learning. We must demand that students become problem solvers and collaborators. We must demand that students become digital citizens of their work. If we can do that, then I believe we have done our job as an educator. I was Dean, the tech kid, in our school years back. I, to this day, I still laugh. I laugh because I never used technology and start, until I started teaching at Prairie Point. Since then, however, I have employed many different tools to help me become creative and innovative and transform my own teaching. My favorite tool to use is iMovie. I love to create living and breathing artifacts for, of student learning. This tool enables me to create memorials of the student learning. Additionally, I use Twitter to expand my professional learning network. I've gotten more professional learning from Twitter than any other source or program. As I change roles, I must, um, I must be, I am most curious, sorry about that, I'm most curious about the tools that allow for um, better student progress monitoring and reporting. I have seen various tools out there like a Blue Harvest and Active Grade. I believe these tools are on the cutting edge of student reporting and we must look at these tools as models for our own practices. Additionally, I've gained interest in Pinterest. I still, though, have not created an account on my own ego. I just, I just have not done it, and I don't know why, but I just haven't. However, I keep seeing powerful connections and ideas being shared on this tool, so I must break down and cr um, create an account so that I can learn from Pinterest and what other teachers are doing out there. It'll help me be more connected with great teaching tools. The most useful tools for an educator right now, I believe, is Twitter. This is because of my own experience. Um, through Twitter, I've learned about PBL, standards-based grading, and educational leadership. Even if you don't tweet, you can follow other educators and stay up to date on the latest and newest trends in education. You can stay informed. You can build your professional learning network. This is the most intrinsically motivating tool that I have ever used or seen. Um, so I truly love Twitter, and I, I think it's also important that teachers learn about Google Sites and Google Applications. Um, not because they're the best, <coughs> excuse me, not because they're the best tools out there, but because they are being um, used more so in the educational world more than ever. Um, and schools are adapting those tools, so teachers must become um, very familiar with those tools and how to use those tools to help create innovators, help create collaborators, and help create problem solvers. Thanks.